It's bad enough that on many occasions your privacy gets compromised, whether it be through an accidental share, through something nefarious like phishing, or, you know, even through, you know, illegal surveillance. But when it comes to just the basic use of an everyday item, such as a telephone, you could be compromised in a way that you never expected or suspected. Somebody in your family could have installed something on your phone that is now pretty much given everything to a foreign actor. What am I talking about? TikTok. Here's some more information about how much privacy you have left. Here we go. The controversy around TikTok has been here for a while, going back about three years ago, when uh, at that time, the administrative branch of the government or the executive branch, if you'd like to call them that, went out of their way to, uh, well, basically uh, ban TikTok or attempt to. And let me tell you, that was the right move because based on this new article from The Wrap, it's possibly worse than we thought. From the article, TikTok can circumvent Apple and Google privacy protections and access full user data, two studies say. Not one, two. Uh, and of course, this was, uh, the, you know, exposed to us on uh, Valentine's Day, but I'm not sure anybody really got a chance to see it. Again, from the wrap, TikTok can circumvent security protections on Apple and Google app stores and uses device tracking that gives TikTok Beijing-based parent company ByteDance full access to the user data. According to the summaries of two major studies obtained by the wrap that appear to confirm long-standing concerns raised by privacy experts about the popular video sharing app. Unfortunately, believe it or not, that was one sentence, so, uh, well, I'm not gonna rage, but I should. The studies conducted by white hat cybersecurity experts that hack for the public good were completed in November of 2020 and January 2021, and we're only getting this now. The RAP verified the studies and confirmed their conclusions with five independent experts. When asked by the RAP, reps for TikTok, whose parent company ByteDance has had ties to the Chinese government, all companies that operate in China have ties to the Chinese government, declined to confirm or deny the validity of the research, which basically confirms it if you are, you know, reading between the lines or anything. The summaries of the studies shared exclusively with The Wrap suggest that TikTok is able to avoid code audits on the Apple and Google app stores. More alarmingly, the research found that TikTok is capable of changing the app's behavior as it pleases without users' knowledge and utilizes device tracking that essentially gives the company and third parties an all-access pass to the user data. Holy cow. This is highly unusual and exceeds the abilities of US-based apps such as Facebook, Twitter, and other social media platforms. And as you can see here in the user information gathered, Keychain data is synced between multiple devices on the same account and potentially family members, which means everything is compromised. It persists between reinstalls, moves between phone installs, the whole nine. Multiple advertising integrations calculate and use a device ID. By the way, a security expert will tell you once the device ID is compromised, you're toast. You can be tracked, information can be gathered on you, your device, everywhere you go, everywhere you've been, the history of the things that you view, etc., 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 etc. Once a device advertiser has a device ID that's correlated, all privacy is gone. Kind of what I just said. Also collect and use other information such as OS version and device model. Well, a lot of apps do that and that's not that big a deal. And while TikTok contends that its methods are standard, especially for social media apps relying on ads, both the researchers and independent experts say that the apps 
code makes it much harder to monitor. Consequentially, just because the application doesn't do anything bad today doesn't mean that it won't do bad things in the future, one study said. And believe me, if we end up in a digital war of sorts, we've got some real problems. And believe me, if you are in the work for the government and any of your family members has this app uh, installed, uh, just you know, consider everything in your house hacked at that point. Informationally, when the rap reached out to essentially talk with Apple and Google, they didn't respond to the rap's request for comment. Are you surprised? Probably not. Lots of concerns with what's happening with uh, Apple and Google as far as the device monitoring by those companies themselves, let alone all of these other third-party apps that are trying to get your info as well. US TikTok users over the last several years have grown dramatically. As you can see, um, it is, wow, it is insane. Uh, TikTok users went in uh, 2019 from 12.5% growth of 35.6 million. 2020, 66.5, 2021, 78.7, 2022, the pace slows down to 84.9, and you can see projecting forward what is actually going to be happening there. Wow. Apparently, when you look at the source code, um, it's, it's very disturbing. When you examine it in 2020 and 2021, the two studies examine how the app collects data on contacts, device ID, and clipboard actions, and conceals data being sent to and from TikTok servers. It conceals the data being sent to and from TikTok servers. The rap was not able to obtain the full text of the two studies, but spoke to five independent experts who reviewed the results. The studies show TikTok uses device IDs, numbers and letters identifying individual devices for ad integration, which means advertisers can end up tracking people over time across devices and installs. That's insane. Android analysis is bonkers. Um, it shows heavy use of C and C++ uh, native libraries, allows sharing of code with uh, iOS version, allows, or excuse me, avoids Google's code analysis, avoids any Android system libraries. Holy cow. Uh, a lot of effort went into making TikTok harder to reverse engineer, probably in response to previous RE efforts. That would stand for reverse engineering efforts bananas. Ultimately, this article does go on to ask the appropriate question, so is TikTok safe to use? Uh, the answer to that is no, no, no. Of course, that's not what they say. But the response from this person, Mr. Engels, is, uh, as with any social media, if you are not paying, then you are likely the product. No kidding. The data you give, which almost always is more than the users realize, can be hijacked. But that is an individual risk analysis on a user by user basis. The collection, control, and distribution and manipulation of any social media makes it a powerful weapon. So, should you use TikTok? Probably not. Maybe if you're on a phone linked to nothing else in the house and it's only for that purpose, maybe. But just consider if you have TikTok installed, you're tracked. What do you think? Should we be essentially banning the use of TikTok? Should we pull social media apps like this down and out of circulation that are essentially just spying devices for not just, you know, advertisement purposes, but for pretty much anything else? Consider this, they can take anybody's phone, whether it be mine, yours, or a family member's, and track and control data on those platforms. You want to talk about the spread of misinformation and other things, or, you know, guiding somebody to a particular outcome or direction, this is one of the ways that it could be done. So do you think this is scary? Are you worried about it? I'm interested in your comments, so use those down below. Give me some idea what you're thinking. It's very important. Also, be sure to support other independent creators out here, those that take the time to look through some of these articles and come up with some conclusions, um, you know, quickly uh, breaking things down for you. Because let me tell you, they're not getting an awful lot of support from the algorithm itself without your engagement. So do hit the like, do hit the share, you know, do make a comment. Those things absolutely do matter when it comes to growth and, uh, well, and recommendations here on a platform like YouTube, or maybe even it's as effective over on Odyssey or Rumble where my videos appear also. 
So there's that. With that being said, I'll end the video the same way that I always do. Be sure to take care of yourself, take care of others, wash your hands, of course, because it's good hygiene. And until next time, protect your data. See ya. Thanks for visiting today. Be sure you're subscribed and hit that for alerts. Yay! Of course, like and share all of the videos that you can as it helps with the algorithm. Have a great day.